Let's acknowledge the fact that I look a little bit crazy and I have my hair rollers in. We acknowledge them. Now let's get past it. Hi besties. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine. I haven't done an updated makeup routine on my YouTube for a really long time. This video is long overdue. So yeah, let's just get started. I actually want to take off my nose piercing because I don't like getting makeup on it. Just like every single video, I'm going to be staring at myself on my viewfinder. I just have to make sure that I'm in focus and also I have to stare at myself. I'm sorry. But I promise I'll try my best to look at my camera lens like I am right now, but I feel like that's a little bit awkward. I'm staring into your soul. Hi. Anyway, starting off with brows, this product has not changed for me since like 2021 and it's 2024. So like three years and I don't think I've rebought anyone. Like I've literally been using the same one for that long. I honestly kind of just stick to what I know. I know that the gel works for my brows, so I'm going to keep using it. But I mean, I'm not closed off to suggestions. If you guys want me to try any brow products, let me know. I think my brows are done very uneven, but they're sisters, not twins. I recently started filling in my brows. I used to not fill them in because as you can tell, my eyebrows are very dark. So I could get away with not filling them in, but lately I have been and I've been loving the way it looks. Oh my gosh, it's giving influencers. This is the brow product I use. It's the Urban Decay Brow Blade. The way I fill them in is kind of like underlining my brows and blending as I go. I don't want it to be too bold. Like I don't want a 2016 eyebrow. I do make my tail a little bit longer using the ink stain part of this pen. Right now I'm just going to do the same thing to this eyebrow. That is my eyebrows. They're feathery, but you can tell they're filled in. Primer has stayed the same. I still use the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. I use the blue one. I still haven't tried the pink one but let me know if i should try it i just put that all over my face i like using a generous amount because i like my makeup to stay on for a really long time i'm gonna let my primer set for a bit and while i do that i'm gonna carve out my brows with some concealer i'm using the ilia concealer for this it's a very lightweight concealer so i feel like it's perfect for carving out my brows i honestly can't believe i used to not fill in my brows because now i feel like my makeup looks incomplete without them okay brows are carved they look so much cleaner and now my primer is set so let's go in with foundation y'all this foundation is to die for this is the house labs foundation by lady gaga i don't take too much i just take like a pump even just a pump is like too much you really don't need a lot of this foundation i recently started blending out my foundation with the brush this is the makeup by ariel foundation brush invest in some good brushes because they make your makeup look flawless do we see how the foundation just melted into my skin I'm being so serious when I say that this foundation changed my makeup game. I only put concealer under my eyes. I feel like foundation covers everything else up. If you want to put concealer anywhere else, go ahead. But I only put it under my eyes. This is the Hourglass Concealer. I have it in the shade Cedar. I know this concealer is very hyped up on TikTok right now, but it's for a good reason. Also, I'm using the Hourglass Concealer Brush to blend it out. This concealer is more on the pricey side, but I really do think it's worth your money, especially if you really love makeup and you just want to invest in higher end products. My next step is Cream Contour, and this is the e.l.f. Contour Wand. I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury one, and now this one, and honestly, it's the exact same thing. So if you want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one, but don't have the funds for it try this one instead for liquid blush i still haven't switched her out this is the rare beauty in the shade hope i feel like this is like the perfect blush shade for me this is a new one i just ran out of my old one like two weeks ago i want to say but i kid you not that product lasted me like three years i might have put a little bit too much on right now but you know what it's okay. You can never have too much blush. So the brush I'm using for this is Real Techniques 200. It came in a little set that I got for my birthday. Time to set my under eyes and for that I'm using the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Powder. I have a mini version because the big one's sold out, but once I run out of this one, I'm buying the big one. Just put some on my hand and then taking a powder puff, I pick some up and press it under my eyes. I kind of like drag it out just so it looks a little bit more lifted. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. With the excess powder that is on the puff, I tap it into my T-zone area. I completely forgot I wanted to try this out. I mean, I have tried it out. My sister has it, so I've used hers and I know that I like it a lot. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder and I wanted to do it before the Huda Beauty powder, but I guess we'll just do it on top. I'm so dumb. I shouldn't have touch the mirror but oh my gosh don't you guys just love new makeup products it hurts my heart dipping into them i wanted to do this step before my huda beauty powder i already put this powder on so i'm just gonna do it after but i suggest doing it before so let's just pretend i did that again i'm just pressing it into my under eye 
I love the way it makes my under eyes look. It just makes them look like flawless. And then doing the same thing on the other side. For powder bronzer, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Bronzing Palette. So I have it in the shade Light. I use more of the top one. You could tell I hit pan and then I just tap a little bit of the bottom. Just start bronzing. This needs to be talked about more. This product is so slept on. It's inexpensive. It's Juvia's Place. It's constantly on sale. It's one of the best powder bronzers that I've ever used. Using the same bronzer, I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. I know you're technically not supposed to contour with warm shades but if it works for me then it works for me time for my translucent powder this is the one size translucent powder all i use this for is to clean up my bronzer and my nose contour i'm gonna let the powder sit or bake or whatever and while i do that i'm going in with powder blush this is the milani baked blush in the shade berry amour like my all-time favorite powder blush the perfect shade it kind of reminds me of this charlotte tilbury blush this is in the shade pillow talk intense i'm not kidding you when i say i think i like this one more do we see the subtle glow that it gives i don't know i think it's so pretty i love it i think milani and elf products are where it's at when it comes to drugstore makeup i'm done with blush and i'm just gonna brush the bake away taking the excess blush that was left over on the brush i'm gonna put that on my nose we're almost done i just need a few more steps i'm going in with highlight this is the master chrome highlight by maybelline it's really broken there's still so much more so i don't really want to go and buy a new one so i'm going to keep using the broken one i'm taking a very small detailed brush putting that on my nose yes i still put highlight in my inner corner i know a lot of people say that's out but not for me i love the way it looks also on my brow bone i stopped putting highlight on my cheekbones just really like the soft glow that the blush already gives me for my eyes i just go in with one shade i'm going in with the makeup by mario palette i'm using this shade right here it's a very warm brown honestly you could use your bronzer for this which is what i usually use but i wanted to use actual eyeshadow today so this is what i'm using taking it on a fluffy brush and just putting it literally all over my eyelid the star of the show for my eyes is this urban decay moon dust glitter shadow it's in the shade space cowboy even when i feel ugly this makes me feel pretty take it with my finger and literally just put it all over my eyelid this looks so mesmerizing it's like i have stars in my eyes i don't even know if the camera is picking up how pretty it is i've gifted this glitter to like three people in my life and they all love it just as much as i do i'm gonna add a little wing with some brown eyeshadow again i'm using the makeup by mario palette but you can use any brown eyeshadow you have i use a little angled brush for this just follow the natural shape of my eyes I'm doing the same to the other side i love doing this eye look because it looks like you put so much effort into it but you really didn't i do use setting spray before i do my mascara because whenever I wet my lashes, my lashes will go down. So I do setting spray before. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter with Vitamin C. Shake that up real quick and just spray it all over my face. I'm drying it down, but I really like the setting spray. It gives you a glow to your makeup and it melts everything together, especially after using a whole bunch of powders. I think this is a really good setting spray. Curling my lashes now. This is the Tweezer Men Lash Mascara. And let me just show you guys the difference that this does for my lashes. Do we see the difference? I know I do. Do you? I will stand by this lash curler for the rest of my life. For mascara, I'm using the Benefit Their Real Lash Mascara. This is what she looks like. It is a little bit pricey, but honestly, Ulta sometimes has her on sale. That's when I get it. Because one thing about me is I'm going to save some money when I can. It's finally time for lips. Except I can't decide if I want to do matte or glossy today. But one thing's for sure is I'm going to use this lip liner. It's the NYX lip liner in the shade brown. This is like the one lip product that I will always go back to. I can't really talk while I do this because I don't want to mess up. It glides on so easily. It's drugstore and it's literally only like $5. Like, can I get any better? Now I'm going in with another lip liner. This is the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice. Another one of my favorites. And I'm just using it to blend in with my NYX lip liner. I kind of want to keep it matte. So my last step is going to be this NYX lip cream in the shade London. Keep it in the center of my lips. Before we end this video, let's take down these hair rollers to give you guys like the full final result. I hope they don't come out bad because I only did like the top layer. So far it's looking very cute, very voluminous, and I love that. Okay, last roller which is for my bangs. Shake out my hair and making it look a little bit presentable. Here's the finished result. The bottom of my hair needs to be fixed. It looks like shit compared to the top. So let's just ignore that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated makeup routine. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to be following me on all my other social media platforms to stay updated with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.